are ye mateys? WT Samson Pirates today is Thursday, March 30th. I'm Eric. And I'm Connor. And we are anchored for the WT Samson News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is National Take a Walk in the Park Day. Fact of the day, life of a pair of tennis shoes. A regular pair of tennis shoes will last about 500 miles of walking. Joke of the day, why is grass so dangerous? Because it's full of blades. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one, Connor. Yesterday's brain teaser, what two things can you never eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Wow. Wow. Today's riddle, I go all around the world, but I never leave the corner. What am I? On this day in History Day, the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is adopted, guarantees the right to vote regardless of race. SAT word of the day, demagogue, a political leader who seeks support by appealing to popular desire rather than reason. Teen Center, there's a Keenstone meeting tonight at 3 p.m. and a 4-H Wizard World at 5 p.m. Tomorrow will be the swim test at the Marine Hill Pool. If you would like to attend, be at the Teen Center by 9 a.m. The lock-in is $5 to secure your spot. From Nurse Gully, still having trouble sleeping soundly? It may be time to try a sleep diary. Ask your school nurse for more information. Lunch for today. Beef burrito or salad bowl with roll, assorted fresh fruits, green beans, seasoned corn, and your choice of milk. During lunch, please make sure that you're using microwave-safe containers in the microwave. Plastic bags, twisty ties, styrofoam plates, and cups, or anything that contains metal, are not microwave-safe. Also, if your food makes a mess in the microwave, please, please clean, clean it, it up. up. Remember, WT Samson is rolling out the rewards for positive behaviors in the commons area, including hallways, cafeteria, and recess. The teachers are watching for academic achievement, responsibility, respect towards your peers, and readiness to learn. Today's winners are... Uh, for middle school, Adeline D. from 8th grade. And for high school, we have Maisie Lorcher from 9th grade. This month, a this month of April celebrates neurodiversity movement. This month was formerly called Autism Awareness Month, but now has been changed to Neurodiversity Celebration Month. The initiative aims to encourage schools to recognize the strengths and talents of the neurodivergent students who think and learn difference, differently, including students who are autistic, dyslexic, dys, dysfraxic, ADHD, those with learning disabilities, and many, many more. The neurodiversity viewpoint believes that the brain differences are normal rather than deficits. Neurodivergent people experience, interact, and interpret the world in, a, in unique ways. Please remember to plug in your laptop in the correct location each day. If you borrow a laptop from a teacher, please return it at the end of the period. Students, do you need technology to complete virtual assignments? Yes. Access to Google Apps for a project? Yes. Or just a quiet place to work? Absolutely. The After School Support Program has you covered. Head over to the CTE Lab every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 3.15 to 4 o'clock. Questions? Absolutely. Let's see Mr. James in the CTE Lab. The W.T. Samson Juniors are presenting, presenting a Monte Carlo-themed prom. This event will be on May 20th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets will be sold during lunch for $35 a piece. It will be hosted at the Bayview from 9th to 12th graders with an 8th grade invite. There's only a couple seats left, so get your tickets as soon as you can. <laughs> Remember that bus safety is important. Make sure that you stay speed seated, speak quietly, and thank your driver on the way out. Have a great, great day, W.T. Samson. Go Pirates! Go Pirates.